Morning, Doc Cow fans. Dominic Stern coming to you on AABaseball.tv for the series finale to the Chicago Dogs and Lake Country Doc Hounds. Last night was a thrilling win for Lake Country. Hope to build off that performance today. And our interview with Demetrius Sims didn't run, so we decided to smush it a little bit with the interview with Ryan Hernandez leading up at today's game. Both interviews will be posted on the Doc Hounds YouTube page, so make sure to watch that. But here's my interview a little bit with Demetrius Sims and Ryan Hernandez, he's an all-star. Last chance to vote in Demetrius Sims. Go vote right now on the American Association's website. What would it mean to you to be an all-star and represent the Lake Country Doc Hounds, but most importantly yourself in Kansas City? Well, I would say it, um, it'll mean a great deal. You know, um, I put a lot of time and hard work in this off season uh, specifically. And, you know, it just is a test. It'll be a testament to you know, the hard work and, you know, how my off season went. But, you know, if I'm I'm just honored to, you know, be in this <clears throat> in this, I guess, last man vote competition, you know, especially coming to the season late, it kinda, you know, tells me, you know, shows you that, you know, I, I kinda put up, you know, enough to be considered for the opportunity. Right. You missed short. How would you put into words the type of she season that you've had in the short amount of time <clears throat> in like country? I think it's been, I think it's, I mean, personally, it's been great. You know, um, I'm showing a little bit of everything, like you said, a little power. Um, I, I take pride in my defense. So, you know, that's got to be there every single game. Um, I can even bun a little bit, yes. as, you, as you may have <laughs> seen. Uh, so I'm just, you know, showcasing a little bit of everything within the game and, you know, what it. You know. And you started the season in Mexico. In the LMB, which I'm not sure if fans are fully aware of, but that's essentially Major League Baseball mm -hmm. in Mexico. It's not the caliber of MLB here in the United States, but they, the Mexican baseball fans, they treat that as their biggest stage, yeah. and they bring big crowds, lots of energy. Mm -hmm. What was the experience like being at those stadiums <clears throat> and feeling a really good environment? Man, um, my experience in Mexico, honestly, like... I thought it was great, you know, like I've never experienced an atmosphere like that playing baseball. I mean, the fans are so intense, like it's almost like every game's a rivalry, you know, like, the, you know, it's music playing, you know, people have the horns. It's just a lot of stuff going on. So it definitely tests your your mental, um, you know, capabilities and, you know, for, you know, allowing you to you know stay locked in and sharp throughout the game. But other than that, like, it's, it was great. You know, you're playing with, you know, gold glove. You know, I played with a Cedis Escobar, gold glover, shortstop. I watched him growing up. So to play alongside with him, like, I took a lot of, you know, stuff down mentally, watched how he prepared for games. And I think that was that's a testament to, you know, what I've been able to showcase, you know, so far this year. You made it look easy last week in Cleveland, Texas. It was your first time returning back yeah. to La Moderna Field where you first called home professionally. Mm -hmm. And Robert and Kevin of this week in the association, they named you Player of the Week after you had six home runs and 14 runs batted in. I mean, what were you feeling at the plate up against the railroaders because you had as good of a week as a Doc Hound has ever had? Um, I think I was just taking every at-bat for, you know, per at-bat. I wasn't really thinking about, you know, my – previous success or my previous home run or my previous hit or or whatever i think i was just focusing on seeing the ball in that moment and just trying to you know score runs i mean i to be honest i my approach wasn't much different than any other week it just happened to be that i hit the ball much better this week than i have in in past weeks um I think uh, being able to see the ball there better is also an aspect of it, and I, I definitely took, tried to take advantage of it. Um, they threw me uh, – I got myself in good counts, and uh, I just tried to take advantage of, of the pitches that I got a bit better. All right, they say a 300 batting average is a Hall of Famer, and you're well above that mark right now with mm -hmm. some good power. And a lot of your power numbers are in the top five or even top two, or first in the case of home runs in the American Association, and that's part of the reason why – you're named to be an all-star. Being able to represent yourself as well as the team in Kansas City, get to go to the Negro League Hall of Fame, get to watch the Home Run Derby, may even be in the Home Run Derby, where Let's I'm see. certainly hoping that is the case for you. But what is that experience going to be like for you? I mean, honestly, like everything else, I'm just going to take it day by day, you know, soak it all in. And um, 
just try to have fun with it. Not change anything. Don't take it serious. You know, All Star Game is you get to be with a lot of the you know the best players in the league. So when you're facing already the best players in the league and you're facing good players every day, and now you have to face the best players at almost every position in the league, you you have to die down a little bit more and, and, and kind of just soak it all in and, and, and just have fun with it. Um, I think it's going to be a great experience, and I can't wait. I mean, it's, I'm looking forward to it. And then we're certainly hoping that one more Doc Hound can join you guys. Demetrius mm -hmm. Sims, he's like country's last man in representative. Mm -hmm. Each team has one rep. The fans can find the stats online, mm -hmm. and they can also watch a little bit mm -hmm. the highlights that get posted on social media. Why do you think Demetrius Sims should be joining you as an all-star? I mean, if you think about it, he's a three-hole for a reason. He's a great hitter. He has a great approach. Um, and everyone knows his defense is impeccable. Uh, you know, <laughs> we just keep working. We just keep working. Uh, Demetrius Sims, he's, he's, he's a great guy. He's a great teammate. He works super hard. Um, and, and he's always there to, you know, to pick other guys up. And uh, I think that he is a great, great candidate to be an all-star because he, he embodies all those aspects of what it takes to be an all-star. You know, he has great defense. He has a great approach. He hits well. Um, he's a great teammate. I mean, that's what an all-star really is when it comes down to it. Yeah, two more questions for you. Thank you so much for giving us your time, Ryan. I know that you're super popular and you uh, you got lots <laughs> yeah. of uh, you got no. lots of uh, more batting practice to put in. That way you can continue to have the stellar season that you're doing. But mm -hmm. what more do you want to accomplish as the season goes along? I mean, when it comes down to it, I, I want to be able to, you know, mix with my team better in the winning aspect, obviously. And obviously, like, when it comes down to it, it's about winning, you know. I want to win more games, and uh, I'm going to try to do whatever I personally can to help the team win, and I, everyone else is going to try to do the same. And uh, when we figure it out, it's going to be a very dangerous LakeCountry.com team. All right. It was kind of a perfect segue because the last question was going to be, what do you guys have to do to make sure it all clicks? Because we've seen it several times over the course of the season, mm -hmm. but it's yet to lead to a big run. What mm -hmm. do you guys need to do to go on that? Um, trust. I think we just got to trust each other, trust one another, pass the bat, um, and essentially just keep having fun. I mean, you, once you lose the fun in it, it gets it gets super stressful. The game is already hard enough, like I had already mentioned. Um, but for the most part, we just got to keep working as a team and, 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 and trust that everyone can get their job done. And and that's how you win games. You know I mean, don't be afraid to pass the bat and uh, just just play together. Yeah, nobody has more fun out there. For the Lake Country Knockhounds and Ryan Hernandez, an all-star in the 2024 season. Ryan, thank you so much. Congratulations. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to watching you play the rest of the year. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Keep this in there. Keep this in there. <laughs> <laughs>